All right, y'all. Yeah. How y'all doing? Her mom raised her majority, though. All right. God bless y'all, man. How y'all doing today? All right. Who woke us up? God. Grant us serenity. Grant us change. 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 Grant I always like to thank God for last night's rest, this morning rise. Mm -hmm. Thank God for his grace and his mercy. Grace is always giving me what I don't deserve. And mercy is not giving me what I do deserve. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. For those who don't know, my name is Derek McKnight from Baltimore City. My partner, Robert Hayes, is here. What's up? What's up? He's here. And, um, he should be here soon. I don't know. You know, he should be here before we leave out of here. Um, but it's two of us. Um, we've, been doing, we've been doing this since 2006, since the streets of Philadelphia had 407 murders. Yeah. Um, I've been in eight recovery programs. I'm from Stop and Surrender, 26 in Huntington, Lions, Tigers, and Bears. Oh, my, oh my. Oh my. And, um, you know, and I thought um, smoking weed was fun, and I didn't know it'd be, it, it, would, it would lead you to what? Graduating to bigger things. And when I graduated, this yeah, then I became a slave. I became a slave to using drugs, right. and I was on a plantation for 20 years, mm. smoking wow. coke seven years, sniffed dope, didn't like dope, quit dope before I caught a dope habit. I'm impulsive. I want it right now. Like it's like when yeah. I go to strip clubs, I don't like I, I don't I, I don't like to just throw money. I like I don't like to find out who's dating. You know, so yeah. I had no patience. Right? I had right, no patience. Right, you get busy, let's go. All right, outside, come on. You know. Always, always impulsive, right? So that's how I was with addiction. That's how with everything. I had to learn to what? Slow it down. My grandmother talked like James Brown. My mother talked like James Brown. I talked like James Brown. So I'm learning. I got to learn to slow it down, right? Mm -hmm. um, I used to talk for applause. You speak, people applause. But God said, that's not sufficient. You just, you just speaking to glorify yourself. You're really not speaking about edification. You're really not speaking about substance. You're really not trying to help change people's lives. You're just speaking for you. You know what I'm saying? So you get no credit for that. So I have to step back and realize and understand what was I, why I'm standing up here, what was my reason? What's my mission statement? What's my vision statement? What's my goals? What's my dreams and desires as facilitating? And I love to study. And when I study, I read. And when I read, I practice. And then I'm what? I give it back because you can never be a good teacher until you become a good student. And you can never be a good leader until you become a what? A good follower. And, 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 and where I come from, listen, we all lived in the matrix. We, 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 we like wickedness, we call good. Good, we call what? Weak yeah. and boring. Just the opposite. If anybody's seen Devil's Advocate, yeah, yeah. Yeah. vanity is my favorite sin. Wow. Yeah. Right? So anybody here, vanglorious? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to get into that right here. Vanglorious. Right? Vanglorious. All right, X Clan. Remember them? Yeah. Once we get clean, once we get clean, Things happen. I know I've been going to a lot of um, facilities, right? And a lot of people jump out of recovery programs or IOP airplanes. And they pull the parachute and they land on really nothing. And some of us go back to what? Poor support and no support. Poor support and no support. And we know, listen, we as recovering addicts, we look for excuses to get high. So it's very important once aftercare is so important. All right, we can be good here, but when we leave here, recovery really takes place. All right, you good? How you, how you doing, sweetheart? Listen, playing here, we die out there. Everybody understand that? Playing here, die out there. So we got, I got seven elements right here. Once we, once we get clean, once we committed to staying clean, once we proclaim we're going to be what we've done from using. Let's get into it. Number one. Hey, my man, Eric. What's up, soldier? Yeah. Yeah. Right, my buddy right there. All right. Let's get into it, y'all. Um, look, welcome and embrace. Welcome and embrace pain, hurt, disappointments, et cetera, et cetera. Anybody hear that? Welcome and embrace the pain of life. The hurts of life, the disappointment of life, the rejection of life. Welcome it and embrace it because that's life. And if you don't like reality, you live in fantasy. And to live in fantasy, that means let me go get some dope and escape. 
Some pills and escape. Some alcohol and escape. Some crap to escape pain. Nobody's going to escape that until we die. Until they bury it six feet deep. So if I don't in welcome it or embrace it, I will always run from it. Or make excuses not to deal with it. If anybody seen the movie The Pianist? With uh, Samuel Jackson. No, no, no. no, no. The Pianist. Well, uh, Bodie. The guy with, right, the guy with the big nose, right? The one who was in Cadillac Records. That's what Beyonce. Yeah, anyway, right? But um, <laughs> I like that movie. Why? Because back in those days in 1942, if you was a Jew and you did things for the Germans, you what? You would live, right? You make weapons, you live. You make helmets, you live. You make boots, you live. Belts, you live, right? If you want to be a Jew um, security guard for the Germans, you live. And one thing I love about the movie, talking about what pain, how he listened, he, he he went through the whole, we went through the whole movie running from running from what the Germans, from this place to that place. He seen the old man get thrown off the balcony because he couldn't stand up and walk to his death. So they picked him up, they they, they, they slid him over the um, to the um balcony and threw him over the balcony in a wheelchair. He seen the people come down the steps and they ran and they shot him and killed them. He seen them bringing like they did the Haitians. If you remember the earthquake in 2008, I believe, in Haiti, and they had a harp. That's a, I don't know, that was some apparatus that caused earthquakes, whatever like that. And I remember on, C, uh, um, um, on um, 60 Minutes, they was lifting dead bodies up like it was wood. I couldn't believe that. Dead Haitians with a dump truck and dumping them. Yes, and this is what they were doing in what? The movie Pianoists. Jews having a pile like this and set them on fire. His family got separated from his mom, his sister, his, um, his father. And he don't tell about pain to welcome it and embrace it because I'm going somewhere. And then, and, and then li listen, he ran. Then he, the, the, the war was over. Now the Germans had to run for cover because the Russians are coming. And the Russians was coming to get the Germans like the Germans came and got the Jews. And when he found a place and he found a can to eat, he was hungry. He remember Tom Hanks and um, um, Cast Away? Yeah. That's how you look at with the wolf and beard and all that madness, right? He was bewildered. He was hungry. He had a can. And he found something to open up the can to eat. And when he was hitting it, it fell off the table and it rolled right to the feet of a German. Wow. And the war is over. And he said, and he was nervous. And the German was still dressed. And he said, who are you? He didn't say nothing. He said, what do you do? I play the piano. And ironically, it was a piano in the room. He said, play. He got nervous because Jews got killed by Germans. So he was a German. He was a Jew. He was nervous. You know, he, you know, he gonna get his brains blown out. So he sat down cautiously. This is how I saw the movie. Right. Talking about pain. Embrace it and welcome it. He sat down at the piano and then he started to play slowly but surely like a chicken, like an amateur, like a novice. Whoever would look, would just jumped on the, on, the, on the piano. And after a while, it looked like he didn't give a damn about the goddamn German that was standing there. He started playing out of what? The death of his what? His people, his family, the old man, what he saw, his, um, his ancestors, and all of that magic that Jews been through. He started playing like a wild musician. And by the time he got finished, that German was in awe. And why not bringing him, giving him his coat and something to eat. Powerful movie. Pain impregnates our purpose, which give birth the power. Pain impregnates my purpose, which give birth the power. And we never know how much pain that's power that's in us. And we always running from pain. Pain produced beautiful melodies. Janis Joplin, rest in peace. Pain, beautiful melodies. Tupac Shakur, rest in peace. Pain, beautiful melodies. Uh, uh, Elvis Presley, rest in peace. Pain, beautiful melodies. Yo, Notorious B.I.G., rest in peace. Pain, beautiful melodies. So his pain sparks her pain, and his pain sparks his pain, and it will help my pain. And together, pain shared is pain lessened. I always watch movies for jewels, because every movie I watch, there's always something you can learn. Yo, welcome the pain, embrace the pain, right? And get back the pain so you can get free from our pain. Anybody hear that? Got to welcome it to embrace it. The pain, the hurt, the disappointments, and the rejection because we're not invisible. You know what I'm saying? We all going to what? Deal with this until we die. But it's, it's how we what? We cope with it. Number two, forgive so we can live. Forgive so we can live. Easy said than what? 
My um, I always talk about that. Who I gotta forgive? Who I gotta forgive? Me. I did things to me that I would have never did to me if I didn't put that poison in me. Anybody catch that? And I stole from my grandmother, right? I, you know, and that was that was bad. I took some things from her and some other people, right? And I beat myself up for that because the people who I bit the hand that fed me. Anybody hear that? And sometimes we do things because we don't want to, but when we sick, we sick people do what? Sick things. Doesn't give us a pass. It just let us know that, listen, if I didn't have that poison in me, I would have never did what I did. So for those who are here, uh, uh, every day upstairs beating yourself up, you will never get free. Never get free if you self-loathing, beating yourself up. What we did to our kids, okay? That's behind us. Let's move forward. Because the enemy's job is to keep our focus mind in what? The rearview mirror. And we will never enjoy our present and we will always make excuses for the future. Right. Right. Forgive so we can live. First, I got to forgive me. Right. Then it'd be easy to forgive you. Easy said than done. Mm -hmm. Once we get clean, we got to practice forgiveness. Yes. We got to practice forgiveness. Number three, positive self-affirmation. Positive self-affirmation. Why is that important? Why is that important? We tell women to do that. Men need to do it too. Is that true, men? Sure. Yeah. Why? Self Come on, help me out. Because it builds your confidence. It builds your confidence. It builds your self. Self esteem. It builds, it builds you up. You yeah. yourself like that. Very good. All right, how much time you got clean, soldier? Uh, I've been here since the 18th, so I got probably like a little over two weeks now. Give it to him. God bless. All right. All right. All right. Positive self affirmation. Your hand was up. Can you say something? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to say... Uh, What's you, your name? Gina. Hey, Gina. What's up, Gina? When you say uh, positive affirmations, it builds your mood. It, uh, right. it starts, it starts right. you off on a positive right. note to have a positive day. Very good. Yeah. Very good. You do that? Mm -hmm. I'm working on it. You're working on it? Yeah. I realized that um, like lot, I've been depressed most of my life, and when I keep it with this mindset that I'm depressed, I notice I'm going to be depressed. But just this time in the past couple of weeks, I realized that if I say, I, I try to think of, you know, the bright side of things. Right. That I have my chance to get clean, that I'm eating, that I'm not on the street, uh -huh. that I'm not dirty. Uh -huh. um, and right. I'm just trying to talk myself into a positive, better mood. And it's actually working. <clears throat> Very so good. I'm really trying. Very good. I'm going to huh? All the suggestions that, suggestions that are given to me, I'm actually doing them. Very good. How much time you have clean? 25 days. 25 days. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else positive self-affirmation? Who got family members that will what condemn us? Mm -hmm. How long are you going to be in rehab this time? Mm -hmm. we said that before. How soon before you go back to jail? Mm -hmm. Do I have to put my house up this time? <laughs> and your kids, yo, they, they, they listen. They don't know if you're going to stay or leave. Right. And sometimes we don't get support. We got poor support and no support from family members. Right. We get more love from the streets yeah. than sometimes from the family. Positive self-affirmation. Who got low self-esteem? Sis right here. Come on. What's your name? Renee. How, Renee. Renee. All Renee. right. Why is it low and how can you raise it? Two Renee. questions. Why is it low and how can you raise it? Guilt and shame. Guilt yes. and shame. Y'all hear that? Yes. Okay. And Back to number two. Can you yes. forgive what you did? Yes. Can you forgive you? Yes. Very good. Yes. By forgiving you, do your esteem rises? Yes. Awesome. How can you keep your esteem high? Positive affirmation. Very good. You ever hear that? Positive <laughs> self affirmations. <laughs> Amen. Do you do that on the day like you talk about? I'm working on it. You working on that? Yes. Very good. Listen, talk to your text upstairs and tell your text you want a feeling list. Positive, um, um, what? What's that? Character assets. Feeling wheel. Ask for character and do the feeling wheel. And put character assets up there. The assets. You look at that. And you attach your life to those words. Say it. Mean it. Mean it. Believe it. Believe it. Achieve it. And what? Walk in it. Because how we think is how we what? Talk. Mm -hmm. How we talk is how we feel. Yes. Right. How we feel is how we walk. And how we walk is how we live. Mm. It starts with the mindset. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Very good. I'm going to sign you out clean, queen. Nine days. Hey. 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 Positive self-affirmation. Anybody else who got low self-esteem? Why is it low and how do you raise it? Come on. What's your name? Dan. What's up, Dan? Yeah. Um, hey. uh, I don't know. Like she said, I'm, I, I'm real guilty about a lot of shit. I'm uh -huh. shameful about it. Mm -hmm. about it, Dan. 
You know, I let my son down again, you know. So constantly calling from jail, not knowing when I'm coming home. You know, when are you coming home, Dad? I don't know. Mm. You know? How old's your son? Seven. Okay. Why you go to jail? Why you keep going to jail? What's going on? Uh, forgeries. I, I, last time In I addiction? Tell yeah. me. Okay, yeah. I got you. Every okay. Time. Just from a direct blow me getting high. Okay. Every time. Do you like getting high? Not anymore. Not anymore? How old are you? Uh, 33. That's good, good. You done? Yeah, I'm done. You surrendered? I'm tired. Why, do you have thoughts or cravings? Not really. Very good. Why, what's your coping skill if you do come? If I do what? If, you, if, if those thoughts and cravings come, okay. what's your coping I'm mechanism? Talk to somebody. Very good. You know, get it out there. Very good. A dude called me from Keystone yesterday. He said, I never, he said that my last run, I never reached out. I always isolated. And he called me out of nowhere. People say they're going to call me or I say I'm going to call them and we never call each other. But you never know when the person's going to pick up the phone and call. We got to do something different once we get clean this time. You hear what I'm saying? Your, seven, your son is seven. Listen, what he know, remember of you might be limited. But don't add on to what? The pain of your son by not doing the right thing. You follow what I'm saying? Absolutely. Very good. Let me ask you this. It's real important. It's connected to what? Um, it's connected to what? Staying clean. What is your purpose? What do you want to do? This one right here. This, I jumped to the last one, number seven. That's important because, see, when you know your purpose, you have direction. Right. Your focus. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. A, purpose, a person who don't have no purpose, they just jump out of bed. That's all they do, just jump out of bed. Oh, yeah. And wherever the wind blows, they go. You hear what I'm saying? That sounds good? Let me go over here. That's exciting? Let me go over here. That's exhil exhil uh, exhilarating? <laughs> Let me go over there. That's liberating? Let me go over here. Where the wind blows, they go. Because they have no what? Purpose. Mm. And when you have purpose, you're anchored. And on your foundation of recovery. And don't give a damn come what may. You're not going to what? You ain't going to compromise um, righteousness with a taste of wickedness. Mm. I'm not going to mm. compromise my righteousness for a taste of wickedness. But even though wickedness sometimes feels good and it, it you know, tastes good, mm. but it ain't good. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you love to stay clean, it's a program I told you before. If you probably didn't hear it. It's called Bridgeway. Bridgeway is for high school, for for drugs, for kids and for kids that's on drugs and alcohol. It's called Bridgeway in the Northeast. And maybe that might be your genesis I went to, to a beautiful for, future. Uh, elementary education. Uh huh. And uh, that's kind of like that's my passion, my purpose. I feel like uh, you know passing it on, teaching. Very good. Very good. Called Bridgeway. All right. Yeah, After we get up, I'll write it down for you. Okay. Right. I'm gonna sign that clean, soldier. <laughs> Two weeks Monday. Got it. Hey, all right. All right. All right. In the back, come on. What's your name? Yes, Wesley. What's your name? Serge. Huh? Serge. Hey, Serge. Serge. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing well. How do you? This is it's funny because it, this is the question. Like, I, this is where I'm at point in my life where I'm asking this question. Uh -huh. What's my purpose? My question to you is, how do you find that answer? Ah, y'all hear that? How do you find the answer to all right, the uh, Sir, let me tell you this. I was always on the right team playing the wrong position. You got that? Right team, wrong position. Let me give you an example. I wanted to be a comedian in Baltimore City. I had on slingshot underwear. Remember the tidy whities I had no shirt on. I had a cape on my neck. I was in Dundalk, Maryland, telling jokes. People was laughing at me, but it was they wasn't laughing at me, but not at my jokes. So God stuck his head through the clouds and said, put your clothes back on. Don't you ever, 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 ever do that again. I was on the right team with the wrong position. Here's, the next, here's another position. I was out of position. I, I wanted to be a rapper. Church, yo, I'm a gangster, I'm a killer, yo, watch yourself, but all that, et cetera, et cetera. God said, shut up. That ain't you. That never was you. You trying to play something that's not you. But guess what? Serge. But talking to people was. So I was doing rap in front of people, doing comedy in front of people. But it, the way I was doing it, it's like an intelligent person who used their intelligence for wickedness. They used their intelligence for wickedness. So everything God gave me, I was, I, listen, I didn't know how to what position it. So at Stop and Surrender, we had men's rap. And he talked about fear. He talked about, he talked about pride. And he talked about lust. And he talked about what? Prosperity. And we had a nice men's rap. And from there was the spark from the genesis of what? Minds of men. When we had 206 murders. So I knew standing before people talking was my purpose. But I didn't know how to get there. 
So I had a lot of energy. My bitch said, you put your son on Ritalin. My mom said, you ain't gonna get my child on goddamn Ritalin. Teach him. That's why you get paid. I got always had a lot of energy. I just learned how to channel my energy. Here's another thing for you too, sir. What comes natural to you? What do you love to do? Listen, check this out. What would you do for free? Play music. Ah, that like, could be you. Uh, I'm good at keyboard and like mixing all these sounds and creating beats and stuff like that. Come on, y'all, come on. Ah, uh, okay. That's like something I'm, I would do for free, like that's my job. Ah, uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Then you know what? You can put what? Ads in the paper and get yourself a band. Yeah. I mean, you find what I'm saying? Get a paper. A brother here might sing. A female might here might sing. You find what I'm saying? You might have a Kirk Brown band. Right. What you say? I'm also realistic about it. That's why I understand that I'm kind of, you know, that's some, not, 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 not something that I'm going to make a living off of. Right. You know, that's a but hobby, you, yeah. But I'm saying, you listen, your hobby can be how you think is how you talk. Right. How you talk is how you feel. Right. Mm -hmm. And how you feel is how you walk and how you walk is how you live. You feel what I'm saying? So listen, even though it's a hobby, you love to do it, pursue it. Yo, look, look, Serge, we don't get paid. We, for him, we, they give us some money. But uh, y'all have been doing this for years and got no money. If you love what you do, money will eventually come. Don't chase money. Chase your dream. Chase your passion. Chase your gifts. Chase your talents. And money will come if it's God's will and you move it correctly. You hear what I'm saying? Look, the local bands, go down there to the local bands and just sign up and say, listen, I play the instruments. Anything, because if you want it bad enough, you'll go after it, just mm -hmm. like the drugs. That's right. No excuses. You feel what I'm saying? If you got a lot of time on your hand, why not pursue the gift that God gave you? You hear what I'm saying? Right, that's all right. God bless you, sir. How much time y'all clean, soldier? How much time y'all clean? Like roughly like two and a half weeks. Give it to him. God bless you. All right. No question, Serge. Ladies, come on. I'm almost sorry. Come on. What's your name? Uh, Maria. Hey, Maria. Maria. Um, what you were saying about Chase Your Dream. Yes. You know, I always had, you know, a, a musically inclined since I was like real little. Uh huh. And I always thought that if I went to school for it, that it would crush it. Uh huh. You know? And um, finding out more and more that like, I, I think that's the back burner. Really, like they say, like if you put like just an ounce of the um, the energy that we put into using, yeah, that we'll get results in recovery. Come on. And I don't ask. Don't feel really that. Yeah, uh -huh. Like even if you do the bare minimum, what they say, uh -huh. you'll you'll start showing up and and bring yourself, and then the rest will follow. But I gotta put all my energy. But you, what you, you saying? What you do? Uh, what's that? Musician, what, what part? What we know? Uh, play, uh, my, main, my main instrument is uh, bass and drum. You hear that, um, Serge? Uh, bass and drum. <laughs> <laughs> See how we get started? See how the pieces coming together like Voltron? Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> that's real. <laughs> <laughs> I have a techno stand that sings. You know, the janitor might be. Uh, my <laughs> my really? Yes. Come on. How much time you got clean, Queen? This is my ninth Give it to all. <laughs> All right, for those who just came in, Ashley and crew, we talk about once we get clean, we got to learn to welcome and embrace. Welcome and embrace pain of life, hurt of life, disappointment of life, rejection of life, et cetera, et cetera. We got to welcome it and embrace it because if we don't, we live in fantasy. And to live in fantasy, that means we'll get high to escape real reality. Yeah. Number two, forgive so we can live. Easy said than done. If I can't forgive me, it'd be hard to forgive you. Number three, positive self-affirmations. Telling ourselves good reports. It might be a little bit, but keep regurgitating what you know about yourself. Positive self-affirmation that will kill depression, low self-esteem, and self-loathing. Number four, this is a big one. The little boy and little girl that needs to grow up. The little girl and the little boy that needs to grow up. And which causes us to be what? Adult children. Adult children. Come on, my man. What's your name? I'm Ryan. 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 What's up? What's up? You said that's you. Why? Oh, I just be on that on that same kick all the time. I, I catch myself a lot. Um, you know, the the spoilness when I don't get my way. Ah. The uh, how uh, if I want something I can't get it or 
Or if I want, you know, I want something to get done, I want my wife to do something, she can't do it. Uh -huh. I start throwing them little temper tantrums, you know what I mean? Like, like she's my mom or something. Like, she owes me, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes I get mad and I throw a little fit. Like, come on, babe, what the fuck? All this, all that. You just don't want to do it. You can do it, but you don't want, you know, just a little fucking, little boy, the little boy shit. Right. You know, yeah, I definitely got to uh, check myself and take a look at that and uh, evaluate it and make a, make a change. Very good. My man. You ready to be a man? Ready. I'm ready. <laughs> my man. Right? Yes, sir. I'm going to suck that clean, brother. Days. I got 16 days. Hey. Yes. <laughs> My man right here, come on. Yeah, uh, it kind of goes along with the speaker the other night. Like, Who are the way you? I'm Dan, I'm an addict. Hey, Dan. And the way Dan. I was living out there was like, you know, he said like, like a savage. Like, what people see was like this junkie, but like inside, like I was just this scared little boy, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. I wanted like to feel safe and for someone, you know, to be there for him. Like, I was just this, you know, hurt little kid. Mm -hmm. But like on the outside, it was something totally different. Right. You know what I heard? Good fool, y'all, both of y'all. You know what I heard? The the, the the year that we was emotionally touched or violated is the year we stopped growing. So I'm 40 years old, but I'm still 13. I'm 35, but I'm still 11. Until we go back to the point that we got hurt, we will forever be adult children. I like what he was talking about also. How he was talking about how we, some of us, we, we make our women our mothers. Right? And, and, we, and we're so selfish, she, she don't even have a life. Because she got to attend to my emotions. She got to cook the food. She got to iron the clothes. And she got to have sex. And she got a life. And I don't even really care about that. Just take care of me. Right. The little boy needs to grow up. Right. And, and, and some family members, they can't see the king in us. They talk to the junkie that they see. <clears throat> But it's a king and queen past the, the what? Past the exterior of what we show them. Who believe that? We kings and we're queens who happen to become dope fiends. Mm -hmm. Talk to the king and the queen. Come on, your hand was up. Uh, yeah, my What's your name? My name is Jennifer Almanatic. Hey, and, Jen. And, um, I can really relate to that because I am that little girl who needs to grow up on uh -huh. any given day. Um, my wife, I like, she does stuff for me and I'm grateful at the moment, but then I, I can become, un, you know what I mean, ungrateful. Uh -huh. And I start lashing out, I start acting different ways, and I act like a child, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, when I get my way. Mm -hmm. But I know that, you know what I mean, that's something that I gotta work on. Right. Like, I need to grow up. I need to be the mother that I, I know I can be. Come I on. need to be the wife that I know I can be. Mm -hmm. I wanna be the person that I know I can be. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of shit to work on, but, that just like hit it right on, like, you know what I mean? Like that's something that I go through a lot, mm -hmm. a lot. The temper tantrums, all that. So I just wanted to share that. Very be good. How much time you clean? How much time you clean? Um, I have, what is, two and a half weeks. Hey, all right, all right. Thank you. All right, the little boy, little girl. Anybody else got the little boy, little girl got need to grow up? Come on, what's your name? Melissa. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Melissa. Uh, Yes. So it's like, you know, I have a 19 year old son, and sometimes I feel like I'm his sister instead of his mm. mother. Mm -hmm. And my mom is like the one that it oversees everything. Like, he knows I'm mom, but it's like, I feel like I'm still a kid. Like, I listen to the same music he listens to, I dress the same way he does. But <laughs> I'm the mom. Right. But, um, yeah, I definitely feel like I don't have another. Uh, I don't have another recovery in me. Right. This is the last one. I, I got, you know, I probably got another run, but it's going to kill me. Uh -huh. So I don't want to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. It's about growing up doing big girl things and doing, yeah. and, and doing what I need to do for myself. Very know? good. If, I don't, if I'm not good, I can't help nobody else. You know? That's right. So, um, yeah, thank you for coming. Like, it got us off the unit, got us to do things, and yeah. got us thinking, being open minded and doing. Doing things a little bit differently this time, you know what I mean? Praise God, taking, that's a blessing. Taking the suggestions, taking um, advice, right? And doing things differently. So thanks for coming out. This You're welcome. How much time you have playing? Um, I've been here a week and yeah, I got.
got here last Thursday. Today's what, Saturday? So a week and two days ago. All right. All right. And real quick, for the for the parents in here, let's let's go back and retrospect to um this right here. Retrospect. Right here. Okay, when she brought something up, she gave she gave me ideas. She she sparked something inside of me. For those of us are parents, some of us can't be passive parents. Yes. Meaning that the wreckage of our past, it affected the children. And to make up, to compensate for lost time, some of us will let them what? Right. But by doing that, we still what? Hurt them. Yes. Anybody hear that? Yes. So there's a girl I know, she said, listen, yes, your mother shot dope. Yes, your mother smoked coke. Yes, I went to jail. Yes, I had sex with some of your friends out there. But she said, that's not your mother today. If you don't like it, get the hell out. Right? So go upstairs and wash up. Come downstairs and eat up. And if you don't like it, go up to your room and pack up. Because you're not going to hold me hostage on what I used to be. Everybody understand that? We are still parents in spite of what? Our past. All right? Come on, sis. Yes. Uh, I'm still a daughter. I'm still an aunt. What's your name? I'm still. Oh, I'm sorry. You? I'm Maria. Hey, hey Maria. Maria. I'm Maria. I'm still an aunt. Sorry. Um, I'm an aunt still. I'm still your sister. I'm still a family member. Right. I'm not, you know, the drug. I'm not the symptom of my disease. Uh -huh. I'm a person that uh -huh. suffers from disease. So, exactly. You know, I know it's a lot more complicated when you're a parent. I don't know that for a fact because I don't have children. But you know, mm -hmm. and I think that. Hats off to people who had addiction and are sitting right here to you know, you're already started making amends to your kids. Yes, real important. Seriously. Real important. Because I, my mom died and my dad died. My, my mom died when I was 20. And I'd do anything for another day with her. Mm. Mm. Our condolences. Our condolences. Hey, y'all done at 11, right? Good. We, we good. Hey, number five. How much time you got clean? Hey, number five, four P's. The four P's, prayer, patience, perseverance, then prosperity. Prayer. Who remember foxhole prayers? What we used to say, foxhole prayers? Is it the last one? Yeah. Just let me get this last one. It'll be the last one. That's the great. Yeah. Straight lie, right? right. <laughs> How much time you got clean? 19 days. 19 days, Ashley. Yeah. Now my prayers are once sincere. Help me. Yes. Forgive me. Yes. Lead me. Yes. Help me. Yes. Teach me. Yes. Encourage me. Yes. Empower me. Mm. Accept me. Raise up people in my life who have my best interests at heart. Tired of being a what? A junkie. Tired of being a bum. Tired of not washing my ass. Tired of being away from my family members. Prayer. And talk to what? My high power like I talk to you. Straight. With no chase. 